for presence four <laughs> <laughs> against action words and in Mach three. And I don't really have any expectations. We will take a quick look at how these teams ended up in the losers bracket. Okay. Action words won their first game or series two to zero, then lost three to zero or zero and three against Kim Kardashian, and then. We had Mach 3 win 2 to 0 and then lost 3 to 1 against Regalia. So, kind of similar pathways to this loser's end of the bracket. Right. Kind of hard to tell at this point. So, I only recognize, again, a couple of names on Action Words is River Bloom and Jump on Stuff. Um, from no, from, I haven't seen these guys play in a very long time. Oh, it's been a so, minute. <laughs> I, yeah. And, and the last time I did see these guys play, it was. They were fine, but I'm not really sure exactly who they're up against with the Mach 3 roster, right? So this is one that we're going to have to see develop on the field uh, when they, once they actually get things going, which is exciting because, you know, Mach 3, they have a chance to knock out some well-known names in the community and start to also build a name for themselves, especially with, with this being on the broadcast. So I'm excited. We got the teams in the lobby. We're going to get ready to go, Vibe. Yeah, it's going to be another great best of five between these two teams. I still have no way to predict this one. It's gonna just really come down to how they show up to play. Yeah, they you gotta see it on the field, man. Yeah, you gotta see it on the field. We saw, if you pay attention to bracket, exclamation point bracket in the chat, how they ended up here. They won their matches to get to this qualifying scenario. Now this is all for do or die situation for both of these teams. Blossom gets attached towards side of Mach 3. Burb will pass it backwards. Give Blossom a chance to get some boost along the way, maybe clear it out of their end, but Devour rips away that chance. Throws it into the corner. They manage to keep it in the side of Action Words for a moment. Dask is actually going to go for a center. No one really there for the reception on the play. We haven't seen much out of the side of overcommits from either end. Nobody really wanting to make the first mistake in the first minute of play. Yeah, honestly, this is like a very aggressive Mach 3 versus a very passive action words, right? They've been in their own end. There was an opportunity to clear it out, but then the Bloom slammed it off of his sidewall and it got picked up by, I believe that was Despair Cobra. And now again, the ball's still been on their own and they haven't been able if they have had control on their own end, this is not where you want to have control on your own end. You want to be able to push this downfield. And that's something Action Words have not been able to do. Meanwhile, Mach 3 are just racing in to try to get any type of touch possible. Just throw off the defense. There's a pass to Devour off the backboard. Dask is up oh. and it's in. And Mach 3 strike first on a very impressive pass. But I mean, you look at it again and Despair Cobra, the fact that he sees Devour in the corner, tells him to stay there, he says, hits him with a pass. The nice redirect sets up Dask. And again, just a very quick cutoff in the midfield. Catches action words out of position, and they can't save the net in time. Couldn't say it better than you did. <laughs> Great coordination by Mach 3. They had the court, the passing plays back and forth between all three members. And you mentioned it before, action words. They can't afford to remain this passive if they want to take the victory against Mach 3, who have just been ferocious on offense thus far. Even though they've only had two shots on the net, that's all they need to secure that first goal and the lead, but nobody on their side, a counterattack opportunity for action words. The botch pass though, and an open net going away for their only chance they've really had to secure a simple goal and tie things up. Yeah, but so there's a lot of things that have happened. <laughs> so you have Mach 3 who commit all three members off of a touch to the back wall that's not necessarily like I mean you can score from that 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 pass off the back wall but you don't need everyone up to do it like that that, that was one mistake the second mistake goes on action where it's who have an open net to shoot into and then completely waste that opportunity by the wayside you just don't take control of the ball they just hit it to get downfield and the slow roller it's off target so honestly oh. Mike, we are lucky but the luck might be running out das can't come in in time to make the touch and blossom is gonna equalize this game 
That was a great touch by Verb. Almost scored it himself and actually remained inside the net to block the defender from getting in the way of that shot. So great action at being taken by Verb on that play as uh, Blossom able to sneak it right past the defense. And I'm getting kind of worried about Mach 3. We've seen so many overcommits on offense so far, but you know, maybe they'll pay off sometimes as I See, you know, say you know that they score goal. I'm worried about action words here. I'm because, worried about everyone, honestly. Right. <laughs> if you have a panic button, press the panic button. <laughs> three, action words, uh, off that first kickoff, no one went for the ball. So then Jump has to save it. And then Mach 3, they just turned it on and had a quick pass play opportunity. It was a great shot from Despair Cobra. Uh, good placement on it as well. And that, that was my main concern just off the kickoff and just kind of how they've been letting up the possession on the ball go by the wayside there were uh, quite some opportunities also that just weren't being taken advantage of like the open goal you can look at Mach 3 the overcommits. this is shaky <laughs> this is a very shaky series so far and this is only game one of this best of five but as the fall frenzy bracket progresses we get into the later stages of this monthly tournament we'll see the true gems out of all these teams rise to the challenge and showcase their skill. So right now we're kind of weeding out the, the weaker teams, you could say. There's an opportunity for Devour. Almost sneaks it past them, but doesn't need to. We'll see Desk come in for the read. He knew that the defense couldn't get in the way in time. Yeah, a small touch and it's the fact that it bounces off of the post and the crossbar. It rolls off of both of those and throws off jump and for blue and they're stuck in the net. No one no one, uh, they're both afraid at that point to basically touch the ball. They don't want to own goal. And you look at Dask, he sees the perfect opportunity to score there off that hesitation. Can't hesitate in front of your own net and leads to that goal. Mach three with three goals. Action words need to get two in 40 seconds. Like we said last series, by two goals in less than a minute. Uh, that's, that's hard <laughs> for anything. Very, very difficult. Sometimes it's even three goals that they have to score in less than a minute in some of these situations. But... Maybe they can use this 30 seconds of time. Try and re-strategize for game two. It's currently, as things stand, they don't have a chance of coming back in this one, unfortunately. Uh, the bad news that has to be delivered to them, but I'm sure they already know it in their hearts is Blossom. Gonna contest that one. Will go to their side. Five seconds remain of garbage time on the clock. Eventually, it'll hit the ground and we'll hopefully quickly get into game two and action words will be able to just wipe their memory of that uh, that game that just happened <laughs> yeah but I mean if you look at if you look at that game right that game there was no clear winner I mean sure the score lines obviously but in terms of how that game had progressed I could say the same thing about how well Mach 3 played if it was on the action word side I know that like sounds very weird but like it was sloppy for both teams and there was just Mach 3 had more opportunities and barely more opportunities than that. I mean, I'm counting up the shots right now. Blah, blah, blah. Seven shots for actual words, eight shots for Mach 3. Um, all the goals were assisted from both teams. And the save totals are actually exactly the same at four. So the team played seemingly on the same level, but there was just so many major mistakes in that game. Whoever can clean it up in game two is going to. They're going to have a clear advantage against their opponents, as you mentioned, if they are able to clear things up in game number two. Definitely some sloppy play all over the field. So hopefully we see some more quality Rocket League out of these two teams going into game number two of this best of five. We are in the lower bracket of our first open qualifier for Fall Frenzy. Whoever wins this one. Gets those three games against their opponent. Qualifies for the next stage, and the loser is out. As you mentioned, action words. Kept it kind of close, even though they did lose 3-1. to one. Have some early aggression here on towards the side of Mach 3. They have a double commit on the opportunity. Almost leading into a goal for action words, but bouncing off the post and out. 
Uh, Dask has a chance, but let's double commit on offense again. Some good old classic ball chasing happening, and will the Maybe, okay, it's not going to lead to an opportunity yet. <laughs> that post just hates action words at this moment. Yeah, it does, because that was another one. Yeah, well, Mach 3 were caught off. I mean, we talk about how fast that they play on offense. They do play very fast, but look, they double commit so far often to where it took one demo in the backfield, and they almost dropped the first goal here in that game. And that's what I'm saying for action words. If they can find the net and not the post, this could be a very different game to you. It's a chance for Verb to keep it in play. Passes it back to Blossom. Putting on some pressure towards that defense. Despair. Take control. It gets taken away by Verb. Dask manages to get in the way. Any opportunity for a counterattack to Vower. Popping it towards the other side. Jump does manage to intercept it before it gets centered. Blossom and Verb double committing on the play. Leaves an opportunity for the other side. Goes into the corner. Will be popped up again. Blossom, big booming shot. Doesn't get the block he wants. Almost saw one from Despair instead. It's no clear victor positioning or possession-wise, I'd say, so far. Now in the midfield yet again. Approaching the halfway point of game number two. Could say the play's been cleaned up just a little bit. So there hasn't been a single goal scored, but the shots haven't been very quality from either end. Yeah, again, uh, haven't, like you said, haven't been really too many quality opp opportunities for both teams. A lot of it, again, just trying to get that battle for possession. Oh, man, but Despair almost able to knock it in. Dasso with a quick follow up. And that, I'll give Mach 3 credit for one thing here, Vodable. It's that when they have the defense thrown off, they know how to take advantage of it by just beating them to the ball every single time. It's that positioning. They're ready and waiting for that mistake to be made. They're able to just drive it right past them into the back of the net. So we saw it happen for the three goals in the last game. Even though it wasn't the cleanest of plays. Took advantage of the situation that was presented to them. They earned themselves a victory in game number one. Now it's up to action words. To actually take action on defense. And get this away from their side. Blossom. Try to do something, but the demo comes out from Despair. Maybe setting up an uh, opportunity. To break the other side. Despair with the touch. Verb with a very close save. More pressure being applied by the offense of Mach 3. Mach 3 again. Now that they have that one goal lead, they want to extend that. Obviously, Action Words has to force the issue, but they can't do that if they're on their <laughs> own. And Blossom almost buys that one, but just can't quite get the double touch. And then, again, the defense for Mach 3, just getting back to the position as fast as possible, is able to make sure that they stop any chance for Action Words to score. The Action Words are going to be in a tough spot now. This is a chance for Mach 3 to actually take control of this game and keep this one goal lead, try to extend it, and then force the issue now that Action Warriors, who is a team that doesn't have that many offensive opportunities, they have to find one with a clock ticking against them. With all this pressure, they are managing to actually boost starve out the defense so that they don't have as many options to break to their end. But Verve did get lucky enough to snag some on the way towards the other end of the field, but nobody home for this opportunity. Despair is going to pass one off to Devour. Misses the touch. Could have easily been a two-goal lead. More, hate to say it, sloppy play being showcased by these two teams. It's mainly starting to really, you can, you can see from action where it's just how on top of each other they are. And again, they've, they've had a couple opportunities they can't really uh, seal. But for Mach 3, Mach 3 have cleaned it up a lot as we got into game number two. They've been able to just make a lot of different challenges on the ball. They haven't been able to set themselves up with any quality opportunities. That's an open net. Dask, is that on target? It's up and nope. off the post. <laughs> and then there's the double commit. The double commit. They got too speedy. Dask is able to save it. But the pressure, it's a 3v1 situation. But no, action words oh as goodness. well. Too quick to the ball. Too pushed up far forward. And with the clear from Dask. Mach 3 are going to take that. That was, there was a lot going on in that last season. <laughs> yeah. Well, let me, let me break it down real quick for uh, those that might have just been 
zoned out for whatever was happening right there. So we saw some shots happen by Mach 3. They missed the ball a few times. They made less mistakes in this game compared to the last one and against Action Words who hit the post two times. Could have easily been 2-1 to one for them. But Action Words, even after they had a perfect chance for that counterattack, open opportunity, open net, nobody was in position to take the ball, put it into the back of the net, get the tie game at least. It's all about that positioning right now. It's been the difference maker between these two teams. Mach 3, they've had great positioning. They just haven't had the best shots, you could say. And action words, they've been all over the place, it feels. Yeah, so in terms of just Mach 3, like, again, you say that they're in a good position to the ball, and they understand that they just need to beat their opponents to the ball in order to really set up those goal scoring opportunities. It's worked out for them time and time again in this series. The only issue with them is, is that sometimes they they see the opportunity but they don't see their other teammates and then they get caught up and kind of tunnel vision into the ball and then it leads yeah. to a double or even triple commit and that could be like almost deadly to them so it's just something that they have to be careful for but if actual words continue making more mistakes than my three my three don't have to worry about anything and they're just going to qualify true they would have to worry about it in the later stages because better teams that don't make as many mistakes would be able to capitalize on those kind of opportunities get those counterattacks going as a cure a simple lead but already another shot going towards the net start things off for Mach 3 action words are taking their time jump will carry this one all the way off the back while blossom with a touch and there we go the coordination they were lacking in the first two games yeah it's a good one from jump here just again that slow follow-up and then just use the last of his boost to get it past Dask who thinks he has a solid read on the ball Blossom able to follow that up in time and sink the first goal in for the game. Action words, get get one on the board, but now we're going to see whether or not they can hold this lead or if they give it away and they oh, do no. like that. The quick <laughs> off desk with the cheat and they're going to tie it right back up. As you mentioned, that's with the cheat. Nobody home in net. All came down to that positioning. They didn't expect that cheat to happen, but it's exactly what Mach 3 needed to get things back under their control even after dropping that first goal in this potential final game for them if things go the way the last two did decent mid-air passing plays between two team members of Mach 3 action words Blossom tried to center it for his teammate but nobody home to receive it Devour just going for a solo play on his own simply gets it off the backboard and uh, the words of a lot of commentators are saying defend your backboard or you will lose <laughs> wow um, I mean honestly it's a great touch from Devour just to sink it in he sees the opportunity he looks at the defender and that knows that there's no way he can save it if he goes for the shot and he just he takes that opportunity even if he misses though Dask was stealing boost all on the other side so he had a clear uh, a clear redirect from his end too even if that ball was to go by the wayside. So Mach 3, again, they immediately turned it up. Oh, oh the <laughs> demo from Verbluten. And Action Words are not done yet. They tie it up. Being very proactive on this approach. Bird pops it up at the perfect moment. Got the demo as well and secured the goal. His teammate tried to clean it up for him, but didn't need to because there's no time for that defense of Mach 3 to come back and get the save. I think this is the, the most goals we have seen so far by Action Words in this series, so much improvement. So they need to clean up those mistakes on defense. Make sure there aren't any open goal opportunities for their opponents. So you mentioned it, the, the post-game breakdown last time. Mach 3 are always ready to take advantage of those kind of situations, but might overcommit like that again. Could see a counterattack opportunity centered for Verb to get the touch on this one. Devour will get in the way. Won't lead to anything just yet as Jump keeps it in their end. Match it clear towards the midfield line. We'll see exactly what Action Words can do with this kind of situation. Right, action Words, they're starting to apply that consistent offense. It's getting scary if you're a Mach 3 fan because that ball is slowly making its way down to your side. Field. Devour though with a good clear. He's trying to follow it up, gets it out of his zone. But look, there's for Blue. He's gonna start to control this and bring it downfield to set up Blossom. Blossom wanted to go for a demo, 
But the Spare Cobra, who's the only person in net, goes off that back wall to make the save. So Blossom's offense, offensive bumps have not been working out, which is a, which is good if you are Mach 3, able to play it off that back wall, making sure you're not getting demo, not leaving any holes in net, and now able to also keep the score line even as we approach the bottom half of this game three. A lot more clean play being showcased by these two teams. Well, maybe a bit rough from the side of action words with all those demos and trying to bump the goalies out of the net. You're really in a position to take advantage of that one. Ferb will keep it in their end for a second. Awesome on the midfield has to back up on this play. Devour actually taking a demo of his own on Verb. Blossom trying to fake out the defender. Might have a classic overcommit on defense. The miss almost cost them the lead. So we're seeing more Whoa. plays being showcased. Oh my goodness, the pinch barely going off the post. That was calculated too. Like they set that up. That's why. That's why I was like, uh, I, was, I was, I looked at, it, I was like, are they gonna try to pinch that in? And they did. And it almost, it almost went in. It was, that was very nice for uh, my three, just able to do that off of the fly. They saw the situation, and that was one of their best shots to actually get that through. And you got, you got to be careful because they're, they're very resourceful by the looks of it. Especially when they only need to score one. The clock is ticking, but the next goal could be the dagger. Oh. Okay, <laughs> that, that one could have been it. Verb lost the challenge, jumped way too late. But I have 50-50. If it had just been like a few pixels lower, would have been the lead for Mach 3. And we saw a little bit of an overcommit on offense. Blossom pushed up too far into the back of the opponent's net. Dask will carry this forward towards the midfield line. Good challenge, won by Blossom. Not much boost to work with to try and set up his teammates. Out to the back off on this play, leave it up to the remainder of Jump and Verb. They're feeling the pressure on defense, a good passing play, one, two, towards the other side. 30 seconds remain, a little less than that actually. This might be on the final chances for Action Words to actually get the lead and keep the dream alive in first qualifier for Fall Frenzy. Action words, they're just trying to thread through that defense, but very methodical. As Mach 3 is a shot by jump, but it's off the bar. And this one could possibly be going to overtime if this one hits the ground. Jump trying to keep it up. Das popping it out. Blossom into the air. Off the ceiling. There's Verb up. Is that gonna oh, come oh, in? Go. Verb Bloon with the zero second goal and action words stay alive. Very similar to what happened at DreamHack Atlanta way back when when Verb competed on the main stage. They're able to get that last second goal, keep their dream alive in this series, get the victory before we even go to an overtime situation. And they're right back in it, baby. Now two to one is the series score for Mach 3 against Action Words, but even more chances now for Action Words. To clean up the mistakes they've made in the previous games of this series and bring it all the way to a potential game five situation for that qualifying spot. Yeah, for action words, uh, definitely just a lot of uh, aggression, uh, towards, especially towards the last half of that when the ball was just sitting in the Mach 3 corner, constant rotations in and out of the ball, Blossom off ball bumps. He made so many, he had, he had def, I want to say around five demos in that last game. And he was- Almost an extermination. <laughs> yeah, constantly just trying to get in the way of Mach 3 and slow them down. That was the thing. Like, we talk about how fast they are, uh, even here in the booth. And in game, you can see the action words, see that. So they're just trying to get constant demos, boost deals, something to slow this team down just so they could create opportunities for themselves. And that's one of the ways that they were able to take it, just that persistence on their on the offensive half for action words paid off so well for them in that game three. We'll see how Mach 3 are able to recuperate after that crushing, well not crushing, but unfortunate defeat you could say at the end in the last few seconds. We said it'd be very difficult to come back and get two goals in that amount of time, but gosh darn it, Action Words were able to do just that. So far we haven't seen much out of the Mach 3 offense as we usually do in the first few seconds of play. 
This time it had been action words. Getting the first shot off. Even after the aggression on their potential counterattack play. Still not going to lead to anything just yet. Verb, a great save. Knock that away from their goal line. Now they need to follow up on this clear jump. Going to wait for this play. Give it up to actually no. Take it himself. Blossom with a demo, but two defenders committed on that one. They cleared away from their own end. Yeah, you see the great power. passing play. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I, saw, I saw it come through. I was like, oh wait, he's going to try fast. And he did, but it just wasn't enough. The defense read it as well as you, Bob. <laughs> so everyone kind of <laughs> saw eyes on that one. Able to clear it away. Devourers, though, being very quick to the ball. The dashes might not be able to boom this downfield. Let me help you out there. And Mach 3 just trying to get back into their groove as uh, Action Word seemingly cut off a little bit of their momentum there. We'll see how much that affects them as this game gets going. Oh, so Ooh. close. The touch and almost the secure by Dask on that play. Just couldn't get in the way of it in time. But I am loving the aggression we are seeing out of the action words side. Especially on offense. They're going for the demos, the disruptions, the bump plays. And then going for unorthodox angles to try and catch them out of position. And secure the lead. Definitely a different style than what we saw happen in the first three games of this best of five series. They are here to play and want to stay in this tournament for Fall Frenzy. Just a quick reminder, as I always like to remind people who are just tuning in, this is a best of five on the loser's side of the bracket. Winner qualifies for the next stage. Loser is out. It's currently two to one in favor of Mach 3. The possession has been in favor of Action Words so far in this game, but the block oh is insane by Devour. I just jinxed it right there. Perfect positioning again. That is a slam dunk. Blossom had no idea what Devour was getting into. Devour had something to say, and boy, did he say it. An incredible read off of the bounce from Blossom. And man, is that a way to open up in game number four. My three, that, that's a big strike for them. Already Verb trying to get things going for his team on offense. So they don't have to stay down for much longer. As soon as the confidence has been gained back by Mach 3, being as aggressive as ever. Blossom this time, though. Take it into their end. Verb, another touch, trying to center it for his teammates. They don't want to overcommit on this play. You know, they didn't have the greatest of angles, but there was a great angle by Das. Got the touch. Devour with the setup. And Devour, again, we talk about him again. He is on another level in terms of how he's playing in this game. It was a fantastic assist. Uh, it starts all the way from when he clears the ball off of his own back wall, and he just completely follows it up and sets it into an opportunity for Das to score. You see this Baron Cobra trying to see if he can ex ex extend the lead to three goals now, but Devourer has come up big in the past 30 seconds for his team, and now with a two-goal lead for Mach 3, action words, they need to respond, and they don't have a lot of time to do it. Mach 3 trying to turn up the speed and intensity all the way up to Mach 5 to get this victory against Action Words. Still demos coming out left and right by the blue side. Not enough to get past that stalwart defense we've seen by Mach 3. Again, an open net opportunity. No one wanting to commit on the play. They know how dangerous counterattacks can be. They've cleaned up their mistakes on offense, not over committing like they did before, losing confidence striking fear into the heart of the action words defense forcing them to even miss touches like this they would normally get nine times out of ten dask will touch that off the wall devours right behind him eventually they get the clear away but it's not enough With one minute of play remaining then to get themselves back into this and it flies right over top of their heads yeah this one i mean this was just a lot of midfield action Mid whiff after whiff especially for jump and He's uh he's in a really tough spot, obviously, when the Spear Cobra makes that touch, cannot just can't read the ball correctly, can't get up in time. It was just in an overall bad position. But for my three, they're in the best position possible. Every member on the team has scored a goal here in this game. And they are they gotta be feeling nope. good. 45 seconds left. They're looking to get four blossom with the save. He's still gonna be able to get one gas, <laughs> putting it in. 
and Mach 3 have come alive in game four. It looks like they're Ooh. gonna close off this series. Devour and Dask, the dashing duo, you could say. This game, it's been insane to see their setups. Devour in position, breaking past the defense. And then Dask getting the secures before Action Words can even figure out what is happening to them. 30 seconds, four goals, all but impossible for Action Words at this point. As Mach 3 look to take the three to one victory against Action Words in this best of five series to gain themselves a ticket into the next stage of Fall Frenzy. The Renegade Cup Monthly run by Nexus Gaming and sponsored by Psyonix. Eight seconds now, just waiting for it to touch the ground. We would move on to our next series very probably in Mach 3, the winner of that one. Very well fought, especially in that last game of the series. Yeah, I mean, that series evolved um, very well for both teams, right? We looked at the first game and it looked like they, like neither team really had any idea what was going on. It was uh, a lot wrong in game number one. Then you move on to games two, three, and four, and the cleanups from both teams, Mach 3, the first one to do so, and they just completely took control of the series. Um, they slipped in game number three because of obviously that zero second goal for uh, the Bloom, which was fantastic. The action words really starting to mount up a comeback. But then once we got into that game four, I think Devour <laughs> just said, I'm done with this. And just yep. off, it was fantastic to watch. I mean, he starts off with a boomer of a dunk and then as well setting up Dask with just incredible defensive clear that transfers into an assist. And then after that, after that two goal lead, they knew they had some control and they they just closed it out, scoring two more. So very well played for Mach 5, and it's going to be good seeing them in the next round. Yeah, even calling them Mach 5, because that's exactly oh, where man, they went yeah. in that final game. Mach 3, though, Mach taking the victory. <laughs> it's okay. It's been a long evening so far, but thank you guys for joining me, Vaudible, or Nick Ambrosic, as well as Dazarin, Damar Williams, on the first leg of this broadcast. We are going to be taking a little break. 10 minutes to swap out some casters and have some fresh faces for you guys to enjoy and uh, nag on. Before that, though, a quick shout out to Stump for the tier three sub for two months.